Or maybe he went all the way back to the whip, the news station. Is there a news station somewhere in the downtown? I don't remember. It's quite possible. So it certainly doesn't seem like he stuck around. Let's go check one of the signs out here. Let's see. We are there. No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, that has me a little bit confused. As to where exactly we should go to uh, find this peculiar down to her lair. So she's seen too much. Hmm. That's very strange. Wait, what's this? Is there failed quests? Oh no. Okay, there's just nothing there. <laughs> I'm a little confused. I don't know just where, uh... Where he had that weapon? Oh, the weapon on the ground back there. I don't know where he went. Seems like we did a pretty thorough search of the hospital. And, uh, outside it. And there doesn't seem to be any kind of, uh... Other areas outside, or at least in this part of town, where he could be hiding. Oh, wait a minute, didn't it mention that the reporter was actually someone... Yeah, there was a news reporter back in the Skyline Apartments, I believe. Maybe that was it. I think that was it, actually. Which would be, uh, let's see, way back to the west. Yeah, because I remember going through the security footage. That would explain a lot. Alright, now that we're outside, third person view will not be so, uh, <laughs> disorienting. And we should also check out that club soon. We'll do that. And the Nocturne Theater. We got a lot of places to go. First things first, though. Let's head to the Skyline Apartments. Fortunately, I don't think I can just go through that door with a cop standing there, so... Go to the... F no, we're on the first floor. Let's go to the second floor. Oh, looks like we're going... Yeah. Oh, whatever. This works. Second floor. Actually, I think, just by coincidence, this is actually our apartment. Not very nice, but yeah, this is this is it, and this is how we get into the vents, and how we go downstairs to see which of the people specifically we're looking for in the computer down here. Apartment notes. Apartment one. Simon Milligan. Oh, looks like that's the one. Alright, two. That, uh, that's the one related to that other case. 9648. 9648. Let's go to apartment three sometime. Four is ours. And six. 
So we need to go to apartment 1 and apartment 3, 9648. And what does the email say? Hey Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Interesting. Okay. First order of business. Let's go to... There we go. Apartment 1. Should be this one. Can we get in this way? Yes. Oh, let's be sneaky just because we can. Keep his stereo ready just in case he's uh, a little off put by our visit. What is this a photo of? Blurry photo of what looks to be a Nosferatu. Now we can't have this circulating, can we? Nothing in the bathroom. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we'll deal with you in a second. Let's take a look at your computer. Upcoming shows. Show 17. Hospital Horror, a dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required, the place is scary as hell. We'll say... It's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patience to serve. Show 18. Eternal unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Alright, let's check our email. Let's hack it. Ectoplasm. I love Haunted LA. It's like the greatest show ever. I totally am going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Balm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. Lol. <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay, uh, holy shit, you suck. Haunted L.A. my ass from angry guy with strong opinions. <laughs> Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, where there ain't, there's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf would go hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if there were real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first one from? Fanboy McGee, of course. Oh, that, that's funny. Okay, so we have the picture. All that's left is this dip-dip here in the uh, closet. <laughs> hmm. Using our uh, third level ability. I don't want to... Well, I suppose we could kill him. <coughs> we don't want to tell him we actually killed him. So one is out. Two is out. This tells him to run. No, we're just going to have to kill him. Your mistress, the moon calls. Run towards it for the rest of your days. Yes. Yes, the moon. I have to catch the moon. <laughs> I was told him. I was told her in my arms. Her glow! Her glow! Out of my way! The moon! Run! Oh, that situation is dealt with. And now nobody lives on the first floor here. Anything else we can uh, steal for ourselves? Probably not. But one thing I do want to do is go check out apartment number three. And we'll take the elevator to get there. Apartment two is related to that uh, investigation we're doing. 
four is where we live, and we haven't checked out five or six yet. Perhaps we should. Yeah, why not while we're here? I think we'll just meet our neighbors. All right. Nine, six, four, eight. Ooh, this place is fancy. China. China, and we're not even in China. How disappointing. Hello! Can't even work the refrigerator. What a tragedy. Do we not have uh, vents here? We do? Oh, they, they are functional. Didn't even have to do this. Oh well. Let's see what the computer has to say. Safe! Hacky time! Ooh, we're not good enough at hacking. We need to be a little bit better. Is there a simple way we can get better? Uh, yeah, we can put in another wits and use all of our points, which we were saving for Berserk. I don't think using Blood Buff would actually fix it. We could use Computer, and that'll give us the extra point at only half the cost. It's unfortunate we can't use Blood Buff to just jack it up just a little bit more. I really would have liked that. Well, let's see what all is inside here first. If there's anything actually interesting going on in here. Oh, there's the vent. Oh, and there's a fairly heavy-duty looking safe, which we need to use that computer to access. Uh, I can't say no to that. Alright, I'll put it in computers. Just because I don't want to spend all my points. And it just means Berserk will be a little bit delayed, which is fine. Except. Okay, safe. Let's hack it. Password is... Jewels! Oh, how trite. Safe unlocked. Quit. Found a gold ring. Silver ring. A fancy ring. And a fancy watch. Nothing like a little virus to get things going. Alright. Four is where we are. Whoa. Uh, your cop is not supposed to be there. It will be Mr. Chuckles and I'm gonna go to my apartment. Oh! I bet there was trouble because I didn't close the door behind me. Hmm, apparently four is locked up. Oh, I guess our place is on the uh, second floor then. Fifth floor of this place. Looks rather unremarkable. Oh, you seem to be quite dead. Can't turn on the TV. Ugh, ugly, ugly bedroom. I'll leave that open. Oh, that's it. Nothing really very exciting here at all. Kind of unfortunate. But what can you do? Oh wait, we see something. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Just calling to see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Ugh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <coughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. <laughs> the code on my door is 1203. Hey, listen, I, uh, had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. 1203. Paul the Ghoul is dead. Presumably another victim of the epidemic sweeping L.A. 
Heard a message from someone named Hannah on his answering machine. Asked him to come to her apartment, also in the Skyland building. Key code is 1203. Interesting. Must be the top floor. Let's save it. Who knows what will happen? We don't. 12.03. Hello? Oh, we keep forgetting to close doors behind us. Oh, well, it closed itself. This is nice. It's got a bonsai tree and an old-fashioned telephone. Grates we can leave open. Probably should close that one. Quaint old paintings. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> Paul was blinded by the light. What? <coughs> Who are you? I'm gonna call the police. Let the veils of madness paint you.